Welcome Crossroads family to another week of Crossroads Connect. I'm so glad you're joining me. We've had so much fun on this segment for the last couple weeks. So if you missed that, be sure to go back and watch the last week's episodes and make sure you're following along with our Crossroads daily content. We have a Bible study, we have a Devo, we have all sorts of stuff for you to get involved, to get connected. So we're so glad that you're joining us. And uh, we just got some exciting stuff going on here at Crossroads. And so we have plenty to share, plenty to talk about. So last week, you may have seen that Pastor Steve was here and we talked about the back to school supply drive. So it all started with just East Windsor and now we're able to give to both East Windsor and East Hartford. So be sure you go back, look at that. We still have one more week that you can give backpacks filled with school supplies to help our communities as they head back to school. So check it out if you missed it. This week we have a special guest and we're going to be talking about young adults. We have an amazing young adult group here at Crossroads and they have been growing, they have been changing, and it's been awesome to see all that God is doing in that ministry. So I have a special guest who's going to join us. Maddie DeSalvatore, who is joining us. She is a part of our young adult ministry. And so I thought who better than a young adult to come on here and talk to you a little bit more about what they do and what they're all about. So Maddie, first off, tell everyone just a little bit about yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Maddie DeSalvatore and I am a college age student here at Crossroads. I'm a professional dancer, so I'm studying dance out in California. I've been out for the last two years and um, because of coronavirus, I've come back to uh, be with family, and so I've gotten plugged in at um, CYA, and it's just been an awesome time. Awesome. So tell us um, a little bit about your small group, because we'll talk about Young Adult Night in just a second, but you have a small group that you're actively involved in. What does that look like, and what do you guys do? Yeah, so um, I'm so thankful for this group of people because Basically, what we do is we meet about once a week, and it's been a little on and off during the summer, but what's been really cool is that people are from all walks of life. People are coming, you know, the age range changes, and but um, the one focus is that we all are just really interested in digging into God's Word together. And so we will just, you know, send out a group text, we'll meet at someone's house, we'll gather together, we'll get into the Word. Um, we've had prayer nights, and it's just a great opportunity to be with fellow believers and people who are our own age who are really seeking after God. So. That's awesome. Now, what would you say was maybe a hesitation or kind of a, a reason not to go that maybe you had to kind of overcome? Or was it easy for you to just kind of jump in? I think for me personally, being in California and coming back um, during this quarantine, I was really seeking out that that community of people who was on fire for Jesus. I wanted that. And so um, for me personally, it was pretty easy just to uh, to just get in into the group. But the one little kind of blip was that we were on Zoom at the time. Right. So you, I had to kind of get over that and be like, okay, this is going to be different. This is going to be kind of strange because it's, you know, over Zoom. Um, but once you kind of got over that, it's been, I mean, it's been such a blessing. That's awesome. And I've personally witnessed her small group that she's a part of, and they're just amazing young people who are on fire for God and they're all serving they're all doing things in their community so it's amazing just to be able to watch that and see what they're doing and see their passion so tell us a little bit about young adult night because we have one coming up this Sunday August 23rd at 6 o'clock so tell us what does an average young adult night kind of look like and obviously we know it looks a little different since coronavirus yes. began but tell us just a little bit about it yeah, so obviously we're wearing masks and we have to bring our own chairs, but once you can kind of get past that and get in the door, it's really an awesome time of just connecting with one another. We have worship, we've got um, someone who's bringing the word and a message, and then, um, you know, we normally are doing something fun, either playing games, there's contests, there's prizes, things like that, and it's just, it's honestly just a time to be around like-minded people, people who are at the same age, kind of the same, you know, season of life to a certain degree, and we're just, we're gathering together, we're linking arms with people who um, who really just desire to be on fire for God, and, and it's, it's worship, but then also another cool piece of it is that there's leaders, you know, people like, you know, you and Pastor Sterling are there, and so that helps to encourage us, and we're able to be fed in a, in a different way, and then go out into our own lives and kind of see what God's going to do. 
That's awesome. And we definitely, as you said it, we had to get creative, had to do things a little bit different. But in the past, we've done even stuff outside of just our young adult night. Yeah. They have trips to Block Island, New York. We've done all sorts of fun stuff, tubing, paint nights. It's just so awesome to truly find that community. And their mission and vision is for young adults to be able to connect vertically with God and horizontally with other young adult Christian believers. And I think that's just so important because a lot of times um, in that young adult bubble, you could say in that time of your life, a lot of it's very me focused. Yeah. And um, I experienced that in college, that, that weird college bubble. And so I think it's really important that we have a space for young adults like you to come and to be able to focus on God and focus on others. And there's power in that. Yeah, for sure. So that's really cool. And um, so tell us one um, kind of hopeful thing that you have for this next year. Obviously, we've been in a different season during this pandemic. Yeah. What's something that you could share that you, you just see a light at the end of the tunnel that you've experienced in this season? Yeah, for sure. I think, um, and kind of what you were going back, going back to what you were saying about young adults, it's like when you are around those people, it excites you to want to do more for the kingdom of God. And so I've just been in this very kingdom mindset. And what's cool is I've been serving with the youth group. And so, woohoo! Yeah, <laughs> shout out to my, the awesome best youth group in the world. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I really have been desiring to do is to raise up kind of the next um, group of ladies, you know, in the youth group. And so I'm, one thing I'm excited about is starting a, another kind of small group for teen girls who are just interested in really getting to the root of things to, to dig into God's word from an age where then, you know, they're not having to deal with as much heartbreaker as much um you know just drama as we go through this crazy life so that's something that's been really cool to me is just kind of seeing what the next generation of girls is going to look like and trying to pour into them and um just give them the fire that that we all want for god that's incredible and that's so cool that you can see it's generation to generation to generation and that's who we are here at crossroads we want to see god move we want to see people and, and being a part of God changing lives for eternity. And we do that in a way that we have mentors to mentors to mentors right. and it doesn't end. And so that's just a beautiful part of discipleship and who we are. So thank you so much, Maddie, for joining us. And we hope that you join us again next week. Be sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so you always know when we have new videos coming out. We'll see you next time.